I'm Daniel Robertson. I've been a franchisee with Snap-on for the last nine and a half months. The beauty of Snap-on is it's a product that I've used my whole working life. Previous to Snap-on, I was a mechanic working in motorsport. Following that, I moved on to the race team at Williams and I was there for six seasons. Because of that, I've actually got confidence in the brand and in the products that Snap-on make. I don't think I could sell something that I didn't have that confidence in. The thing you've got to remember is we're problem solvers and we present things to people that are going to make their life easier. I get as much out of doing this as I put into it. The harder you work, potentially the more money you'll gain from doing this. So long as you follow the program that Snap-on set out in front of you, you will be successful and you will build a healthy business. There came a point in my life where I wanted to do something different. I wanted to stop travelling, stop going away, spend more time at home with my wife and family. So we started looking for different things that I could maybe do. And one of the things that came up was starting our own business. I was very reluctant. Um, I didn't know much about it. We, we looked into it for about 12 months. And they came out and gave us a presentation. From there, you go on three dealer van rides. They're a full day each, and you go out, you have a look at what the dealers do and the business with franchisees. We didn't have a lot of money to start with. We only had you know, a small amount of money. And we managed to free up a bit of equity in our house, and then Snap-on helped us out with everything else that we needed. They believed that we were the right person to do this. Can I show you a couple of things yeah, today? Right Once you take the final step and you're going ahead with it, you then go for a week's training where they give you all the tools that you need to be able to sell the tools. From there, when you go out on the road, you've got 28 days with a sales development manager sitting next to you walking into the shops, introducing you to people. So you're constantly shown how to go about selling. It really was an easy transition. I don't know whether he just picked it up really quickly or whatever, but it was very easy, he had a lot of support. If you need to speak to Snap-on, if you need to speak to your sales development manager, someone's only ever a phone call away. And beyond that, there's a whole network of other dealers that you have as well. And if you have a drama, they'll all help you too. Thank you very much, Mr. See you later, mate. Thank you. My day normally begins at the end of my previous day, and I close my day, I print out the pre-list for the following day, which is a list of the stops that you're going to make. It has back orders on it, customer needs, customer balances, and notes, depending on each individual customer. The following morning, I leave the house around about 7.30 and drive into my territory to the first stop. And basically from there, I visit every stop that's on my pre-list. How are you, Adam? Feel good. So that was the first stop of the morning. We're going to go the next stop, which is Danachi Motors, to see Michael, who's the owner of this shop. I'll go see the boss. In every workshop, there's what I call is the daddy. He is the one bloke that all of the younger guys who are working in that workshop looks up to. And for me, if the daddy is a snap-on convert in the beginning, then all the younger guys in the workshop will all end up being snap-on converts as well, and they'll all end up buying snap-on tools. Whenever I sell tool storage, I'll always take a photo of the guy with his new toolbox. It's a pretty exciting thing for him. You know, it's, it's like buying a new car and I'll put that on a Facebook site so all of my other customers can see it as well if they're signed up. So it creates excitement as well. I had never sold anything in my entire life. I wouldn't have had the confidence to do it. For every bit of effort I put in, that's how much reward I get out of it. And Snap-on have given me that confidence. They've given me the ability to be able to sell. I'm not working for anybody else. I work for myself. I've got far more freedom in my life. I don't work weekends anymore. The more effort you put in, the more you'll get out of it. 
and it's, it's an investment for your future. In the future, you know, Dan, Dan really has got his heart set on uh, getting another, another truck, so that probably is, is what we would be working towards. You don't have to have a sales background, and I don't believe you have to have a mechanical background either. They will give you the skills you need to be able to do this job.